I'm Joni Greggins for Marin on the Move. I want you to cross, I don't have time to exercise, right off your list. I'm going to show you three ways you could work out that are effective and fun. Let's start with the rebounder. That's right, like a mini trampoline. And it's just a couple inches off the ground or so. You want a sturdy one, don't get the cheap ones. They don't really hold up. You want one that really supports you. When you rebound, you want to be on a flat surface and a surface where it's not going to skid. You don't want the, the rebounder skidding around. So you have a solid foundation, right? A good rebounder. You've got your cross trainers, and you're ready to go. Now, if you don't have great balance, just sort of stand there and say, I'm OK. Just do little tiny movements. Rebounding is a great cardiovascular exercise and also good for the lymphatic system. They call it cellular exercise. Now as you feel a little bit more bold, you can start shuffling. You can twist. One foot past the other. Now they have rebounding books, DVDs, videos, all kinds of things that help you. But if you just want to put on some music and do your own thing, you can. Now the only thing I would say, if you have any you know, health conditions, always check out with your doctor before you begin any kind of exercise. And side to side. You can get a great workout in about 10 minutes, but try to work your way up to about 20, 30 minutes, which is very easy to do once you get in there. Some people, believe it or not, say they get in the zone when they do this, and they start relaxing. They feel better. So rebounding, fun. Great way to burn calories, get your metabolism up, get the lymph system moving, and here you go. How about hula hooping? Remember the hula hoop? It's been around since 1957, and it's popular as ever. In fact, they have hula hoop classes, they have hula hoop parties, but just how about getting a hula hoop? Now, the first thing you want to be sure is it's the right size. How do you know? You stand up the hula hoop. It should be between the waist and the chest, right in this area. If it's too small, it's very hard to control, moves too fast. You don't want that. You want a, a, the right size hula hoop. Now, how do you begin? You step through the hoop. You take the hoop and you press it right there in the back. All right, now everybody always thinks of this kind of move, but it really comes down to be almost a forward and back. Then you spin it and you keep it going. It's almost like a forward and back. Now, the great thing about hula hoop, you see how great it is for my legs, my abs, and you can do it when you're watching TV talking on the phone, or just talking to you. I have another way of, of having exercise and having fun. But first, I'm going to hula hoop for a while. <laughs> All right, we've done rebounding, hula hoops. What's next? Dance mats. They're so much fun. They have dance. They have video games that you can use with your TV. Hey, you don't want to use them with your TV? You don't have to. They're for all ages. You can do it by yourself. Or with a friend. Come on, Trent. He's my friend. All right, we're going to have a dance off here. Give it a start. All right, here we go. Uh oh. All right. Now we're trying to hit the lights and stuff. We're having such a good time. Uh oh. <laughs> Keep going. That's it. <laughs> All right. Now. You keep moving. I'm Joni Griggins from Marin on the Move. All right, Trent, here we go. <laughs>